Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. Have you ever watched a video and or heard a song in FACGCE, been inspired by it, gone and grabbed your guitar, tuned your guitar up to FACGCE, strummed it open and thought, wow, this sounds wonderful, and then suddenly have the crushing realization, I don't even know how to start playing in this tuning. So in this video, I'll show you a straightforward method you can use to write those twiddly twinkly riffs in FACGCE tuning. And furthermore, I'll show you how some of the best math rock guitarists in the game are using this tuning to create some of the coolest ideas. Years. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a framework that you can use to start practice crafting such ideas in this tuning. But first... Well, it's down to how the guitar is tuned. FACGCE tuning is tuned to an open chord, that chord being an F major 9. And the hint of sadness we get from this chord is created by two clashing notes, the F and the E. And we actually have this interval which sounds rather nasty, but because it's spaced out so far over a few octaves, it doesn't clash as much, and that's what gives us that feeling of a um, kind of like tint of sadness to this tuning. And this means that we start our song ideas, any idea that we write, from this sound. And as uh, Yvette Young refers to it, she refers to it as um, you know, having some colouring on a canvas already. Also, I view it as like a way to colour the canvas a bit. So it's like, instead of starting with a white canvas, you start with like, you know, it sounds really nice just by itself and it puts you, it takes you somewhere and I, I hear like, all kinds of melodies over it. Right, so now we know why this tuning makes us feel like we're reliving a past teenage breakup. Let's get into how we can start writing twiddly twinkly ideas to express the pain of that breakup. What if I asked you to relearn all of the chords, arpeggio scales that you currently had learned on guitar? I'm sure you would say something like, are you kidding? That's way too much effort. I'm never gonna do that again. Well, this is the feeling you're getting when you're tuning to FACGCE because all of that knowledge is kind of gone and it's kind of like we're relearning guitar again in some regards. Fret not though, I am here to tell you that we do not need to learn all of those pesky scales, chords, arpeggios and so on. And I will show you how we're going to get around this problem. The trick lies in the tuning itself. Because we're tuned to an F major chord and we want to capitalize on the sound of that tuning, 99% of the songs that I listen to do just this, meaning that they will we usually just use one scale for their twiddling around, which means we can do the same. Hurrah! Well, what scale do you think that is? If you said F major, then you would be wrong. And I know it seems obvious because we're tuned to an F major chord, so wouldn't we use F major? Well, when we actually look at the songs and the songs that, well, I'm aware of that are in this tuning, 99% uh, of them are using the C major scale for all of that twiddling. Meaning they're treating this F major 9 sound, if they do use it, or the F major sound, as the fourth chord in C major, because they're using a B natural instead of that be flat in all of the twiddly riffs that they're using. And if you don't know your music theory, it's completely fine, it's not necessary to know to put all of this into action. To clarify, here's all the notes of C major across the fretboard from, you know, open to the octave on the 12th fret in this tuning. And here's the notes of one of the most famous riffs in FACGCE, never meant by American football, superimposed over that scale. And notice it uses all of the notes from the C major scale. <laughs> Notice how it's just using notes from that C major scale and that it's launching from the C note itself. The whole riff is based around that. Furthermore, here's another example. So this song is called Hot Probs by a band called Colossal. And again, I've superimposed the notes and as we can see, they're just using all of the notes from the C major scale. And again, notice how uh, that makes use of all of those notes from the C major scale and how it's launching um, all of the ideas based on a lower kind of harmony note. <laughs> That's not to say that every riff does this, of course. Um, there are some outliers here. And one song I can think of is the introduction to the song Bronco by uh, Yvette Young of uh, Covet. And this song, again, is an FACGC, of course. And um, in this riff, she's in C major, but she does switch to the F major scale. So listen at the end of this riff and you'll hear that in action. <laughs> So that, 
that B flat just suddenly comes out of nowhere. And it's that lovely chromatic run that she puts in her riffs. And it sounds wonderful, it sounds spicy. But again, like the other two examples we just looked at, notice how all of the riffs are launched from some kind of harmony below. So this tells us two things. First, it means that we can use the C major scale to do all of that twiddling around our ideas. And second, it means that we can use a lower harmony note to launch our ideas and then fill in the gaps between them, let's say, by using that scale as along with the open strings. This means instead of having to learn all of the scales, arpeggios, chords again, we can just focus on using this scale. I'm not expecting you to memorize it, of course. I just want you to refer to it as you are crafting ideas. And your ear will probably do the rest of the work anyway by choosing the right notes as you go along. So to demonstrate this two-step process in action, I'm going to choose some lower notes on the F string here. And I'm going to stick to a particular part of the fretboard for each of my notes and try and craft some rift ideas around that. So I've decided to go with this 7th fret, 9th fret, and 12th fret. And I can see if I take a look at the chart here, um, if I was to stick within between the 7th and 9th fret here, I can kind of use those notes to whittle around on, and of course I can use the open strings too. And you can start to get some ideas going like that already. I'm kind of digging that sound already. My ears are pulled towards this. I'm going to pull off. One hour later. So I'm starting to craft some idea here. I like that pull up. Then I'm going to keep a similar motive going here. I want to keep some kind of repetition. And it's worth noting that as we do move around with different harmony notes, um, we're still playing the same scale, but the we're going to change between like kind of minor and major kind of sounds. And um, that's not important, but I just wanted to know that. But we can still use the same scale, and we can still get the same you know result from it. And I'm going to try and end it round the riff off here. And then in my head, I can hear this like, you know, like kind of descended to a descending kind of lick to get back to the introduction here. And I can sort my chart and I can see where the, where the notes are on this higher string here. I'm hearing something like that in my head. Something like that. So let's try and put it together. Anyway, I would obviously spend a bit more time and hash that idea out, but it's got off to a great start there. And it's all just looking at a lower harmony note, looking at what using my ear mostly to guide me with what sounds I'm hearing in my head. And of course, consulting that the uh, major scale chart that I've given you here, just to find what notes you can use. And obviously capitalizing on the sound of the tuning itself by including the open strings for more of those twiddly, uh, widdly ideas there. So I want to leave you with some root note ideas that you can practice filling in the gaps to. So so we're going to have an open string, 2nd fret, 4th fret, and a 7th fret. And this would give an outline of a 4, 5, 6, and 1 progression. Now you have a better idea of how to create ideas in FACGCE tuning. There is something else that we need though to effectively write ideas in FACGCE tuning. That is learning what others have written before us. And in this video, I break down one of the most famous riffs in FACGCE tuning. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the patrons and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.